I dream big, that's notorious thoughts, get it? Fucking midgets, Lowe's be they surname, architect the clashes, but the bricks let up the cocaine. What's up with those drugs up from these niggas sipping cocaine? I don't buy it, besides the bottom. Yo, mic check, mic check, what the fuck is up, YouTube? How y'all niggas doing? Y'all good? Y'all chilling? Alright, bet. So, let me start this off, man. June ain't been a good month to us, you feel me? Like, we lost X, we lost Junior, I believe we lost Antoine Rose. I believe we lost somebody else from the Bronx. I had to pay back my college tuition, man. We need to remove the whole month, my nigga, you feel me? But on a serious note, man, I got an unfortunate story Um, I want to report to y'all. This, unfortunately, happened, I believe, four days ago. And in my city too, Brooklyn, New York, you feel me? So I'm kind of devastated by this shit. So this, in the neighborhood that this happened in, it was Bushwick, all right? Um, what happened was it was a four-year-old girl, right? I believe she was on her scooter, and she happened to tie her shoes. Uh, well, her mother was tying her shoes for her, actually. And an SUV, a black SUV, had ran her and her mother over. And I believe it was twice. Now, her mother got injured, but unfortunately, the four-year-old little girl did not make it. All right? Um, they found out who the driver was. No charges have been made. And a lot of people are speculating that it's a deeper context to it. And I'm going to get into that for a second, man. Um, I think this, this whole story is fucked up. First of all, I, I feel like any story with a child involved... It's automatically fucked up. You know, a four-year-old girl lost her life. She didn't get to live. You know what I mean? Like, that shit is really devastating. Now, when I get into the deeper context, it's going to be even worse. And, uh, yeah, man. Yeah, let me just get my thoughts off real quick. You feel me? Um, I'm not fucking with this story at all, bro. This I was just uh, telling somebody the other day, this the, is this the only reason why I don't want to drive. I don't like to drive. You feel me? Like, I don't got my license and no shit. But when I be driving with my permit and shit, you feel me? I don't like to drive because this shit is on the back of my mind. Like, this is my biggest fear. I drive and I accidentally hit a child. You feel me? So, listen, bro. Don't expect me to be on the road no time soon. I'm like SpongeBob with this shit. I'm not trying to drive nowhere. No, none of that, man. I'm scared, bro. You know what I mean? Like, it was fucked up. This was a hit and run. Like, Shorty didn't even stop. That shit gets me upset. Like, you wouldn't even stop to acknowledge your mistakes. Like, did the pressure apply when you knew that you hit a road bump and you didn't really see no bump side in the middle of the road? Like, that's kind of fucked up, G. Now, that shit is on your conscience, you feel me? But, um, let me get into the deeper context of this, all right? So, people are speculating that, uh, the mother and the uh, daughter, yes, they were Latina, uh, Mexican, I believe. And some are saying that they were illegal immigrants, right? And the driver had connections to NYPD. And what happened was, only reason why the driver did not get arrested was because I believe NYPD uh, threatened to send them, threatened to deport them out the country. This is what I'm hearing. This is not facts. I'm just saying this is what uh, uh, a lot of speculation is going towards. You feel me? That after that child's death, the mother did try to file charges and I believe uh, some corrupt officers that was uh, related to the driver had said had tried to blackmail the mother and say yo we'll deport you if you report this or if you go through with the charges this is what I'm hearing I'm hope this is I'm hoping this is not true I wouldn't be surprised no NYPD from my personal experiences I mean um, Y'all won't believe, like, how fucked up NYPD is. Like, this shit goes on on a daily basis. You feel me? But if this is true, my nigga, this is literally the true representation of what America was built off of. You feel me? If you're not white in America, I'm telling you, you're going to have a hard time. This goes for black, Indian, even though yeah, uh, Native Americans were the first ones here. Like, that's how sad it is, bro. If you're not white... I'm telling you, bro, you're going to have a hard time. You know what I mean? Even though we may have better laws, I believe, than most countries in the world, if you're not white, you're bound to struggle. You feel me? And I'm hoping that the deeper context that I just explained to y'all are not true. But 
more details will come out. Uh, most likely, I'll keep y'all updated on the story, man. I'm still devastated that a four-year-old girl lost her life. And what makes it even fucked up is that uh, they, they tried to threaten her mother and, and say that they deport her if she uh, fucking um, tried to press charges. I'm hoping that shit is not true. You feel me? But yeah, man, y'all let me know what y'all think about the story. Um, I ca I ca I'm going to put a link in the description or in the comment section where y'all can see the full footage. Um, it's very brutal. It's a lot of blood. I mean, I'm giving y'all that warning sign. If you're ready for that, you can go check it out. If not, uh, yeah, man. But, yo, subscribe, like, comment. Follow me on Instagram if you can. Stay blessed. Stay black. Stay beautiful. I mean, I'm off this. You hard, dog.